Yo, Vaisant here. So we're here to break down the Grand Blue Fantasy relaying Lucius Windworm fight that happened during the developer live stream. For the order that I want to cover in this video, I want to kind of go over like the basics of the boss battle that I noticed, and then I will go over each of the moves that I noticed, and then we can review the footage um, in the order that the moves are executed and kind of just explain as the video is going. So these are mostly my observation and analysis I could have been missing something or you guys have more insight feel free to let me know in the comments so let's just start in these bass boss battles i noticed that there's like a blue bar that goes up on top of the boss when they get attacked except during the period of the sky bound arts or the chambers but once it gets full the boss will get stunned for a little bit and then the bar will drain back to zero and you have to wait for the bar to hit zero again before it can go up like some kind of a cooldown and this boss, the Windworm, is a Wind Dragon and it summons a lot of green tornadoes. The tornadoes seem to disappear when hitting the edges of the arena. Now for the moves. I don't have any official names or anything, so I'm just gonna call how I see them. So there's this one move, it does a charging in his mouth, and then it shoots out three wind balls going out in cones. So one going straight. One going 45 degrees to the left of that and then 45 degrees to the right of the straight one And I'll just call this like wind charge wind shot Once during the beginning of the fight it does do a roar and summon the magic circle where I assume to be aimed at the furthest character from it and um, That magic circle summons a giant tornado on that spot. It only happens once in the beginning that I seen during the fight it also does a move where it just does a charging tackle and then there's a move where it does a claw swipe and then after the claw swipe it'll spawn a tornado that follows the path of the swipe and it just keeps going until it hits the edge of the map. And lastly of the basic moves, there is a move that summons five tornadoes around it at tail's length and then it kind of rotates counterclockwise and during the summoning it will do a tail sweep around itself. During the overdrive period, there is a move that I just mentioned, right? Where it summons five tornadoes. That happens still. It still summons five tornadoes. But instead of a tail sweep, it does some kind of a roar thing. And I believe it pushes everyone away. And also during the overdrive period, I think only once, it will fly up to the middle. Usually in the beginning of when it does this thing, it will fly up to the middle and it'll be up in the above the arena and it'll summon a giant tornado on that spot that summons skinny skinnier tornadoes that rotate clockwise and expand start expanding outwards and then there's there seem to be always three skinnier tornadoes just around that giant one and so the best place to actually avoid that is actually being on the edge all right enough with the moves let's just go into battle i'm just gonna talk over it i'll probably pause in between and stuff and talk about what's happening so here's the Lucius Windworm. I'm assuming that when you put status effect on it, it could be like Dragalic Loss, where the more time you trigger status effect, it gets more resistance to it. That does something, because I only noticed in the beginning where he does a charging wind shot, and then there's the paralyzing shot from Eugene, or Eugene that paralyzed it. And then you notice there's the blue bar right there, and then it broke. So then it got stunned a little bit. Right, and then it got up and it summoned this magic circle that summons this giant tornado. And it only does this once. And then here, he does a charging tackle. And then it does summon the five tornadoes that you see here. Right. So I noticed there's like these combos where it does a charging tackle and then does a swipe. And then it does a charge shot or it do like a charging tackle, a swipe or a swipe and then charging tackle and then a charge wind shot. But here, it jumps to the side right after that, and it just two charge wind shots, but it could have been more, but they broke in time, right? So here's the combo I mentioned. It does a charge, and then somehow it didn't do a swipe, but did a, a charge wind shot. And then it's usually after like that three hit combo or three move combo, it will summon like five tornadoes. And then after five tornadoes, it does it again, and then it does a swipe after a charging tackle, and then a charge wind shot. And then it'll do some in tornado again. And here he just did a swipe. And then it just jumped. I, I don't know what's the cause of it, but it, it jumped. And then I'm assuming it's about to do another two charge wind shots. But it got broken. All right. And then usually when it gets up, it does a charging tackle. 
and then a swipe, and then a charge wind shot. It used the is used the three hit some kind of three move combo, and then after that it'll do it'll summon the tornadoes, and you can see during that tornado it did a tail swipe too. I didn't know there was two swipes there or not, but it did a swipe this time first, and then it did a charging tackle, and then it shot, and then it got broken here. And then it does a charging tackle, and then it does a swipe, and then a charge wind shot. Right, you can see it. That, that, this usually does the three hit combo. And hit it hit overdrive. And then you can see the overdrive status. Usually it will do it will start doing the the fly over to the main area, but now people are doing their skybound arts. So it's actually um, delaying it in a sense, yeah. And since it's delaying it, it, it would it would do it after all this. And then usually after a chain burst, it'll get stunned for a little bit. Unfortunately, they didn't actually destroy the overdrive, right? And it didn't break. So then it'll get up and it'll start. So here, you actually want to be not in the center, but you want to get away, right? As you can see, giant tornadoes, skinny tornadoes, and then keep expanding outward, summoning more and more. Uh, but you can always still see three in the middle there. And then after that, it will just explode. Like, whatever the tornado happened, it will just explode. I guess I forgot to mention that earlier. But it does just explode right after. So you kind of want to get away from that. Uh, here, we're going to break. But yeah, if you notice that the blue bar, um, after it hit, it, it gets to full, it will stun it for a little bit, and then it will slowly drain, right? And I think, obviously, I think... Yeah, okay. Now now it starts draining faster. I'm assuming they did link time, so everything just slowed down. Here, charging tackle, swipe, right? Charge wind shot. And then it's going to summon tornadoes. There you go. You rotate outwards. And just kind of just go outward, expanding kind of bit. Swipe. Charge wind shot. So it's mostly like a three-hit combo. Just be wary of that. Charging tackle. I guess it charges towards maybe the closest. I don't know. So maybe whoever is the closest can like aim it towards the wall. And then some. Yeah, this is a different combo to sign. Ended up with a swipe. So he did a swipe and then did another swipe. So sometimes it would do a double swipe. Right? It would do a double swipe. I don't know. It didn't let it finish the combo. It keeps breaking, so. <laughs> charging tackle. Swipe. And then charge blast. Or sometimes it'll do double swipe. Charging tackle. And then charge blast. Charge wind shot. Charge blast. Charge wind shot. You guys got the picture, right? <laughs> and then they're doing their, their link bursts. Um... Yeah, so it's usually around those combos that I I seen most common. Obviously, I don't have the game or anything, and I'm just watching a dev live stream, so I don't I I don't have all the answers here. But I'm just going based on what I saw and how I an analyzed it. They're probably gonna win soon, but it's gonna hit overdrive, and then do be that one move that I mentioned. Alright, it jumped to the side. And then actually it jumped to the middle. <laughs> and then it does this this thing right. This time there's no skybound art to delay it, right? So it automatically just happened right now in the beginning of overdrive. And you can see the devs, uh three of them are off to the side. I don't know what this one's doing, probably just trying to do damage while doing this. <laughs> got got killed. Alright, charging tackle, swipe, you can kinda see it. Here's the one where it summoned tornadoes, right? After it did that three-hit combo. But it's different. It's doing a roar, and then it kind of pushed everyone away. And then doing link time, so everything kind of slowed down. And they did they did break that blue with the blue bar. Which is good. I guess you want to do link time during that, right? Or when they're broken.
All right, here I've been using the charging tackle, swipe, and then blast. And then he's going to do that uh, tornado five, tornado summon, and then kind of pushes everyone away a little bit. I don't know if it actually pushes, pushes, but it looks like it pushes them away. But the, they, some of them dodged. And yeah, so that's the fight. Um, if you guys have any comments, insights, what do you guys seen during this? Or maybe as you're watching this and I'm describing it, let me know what your thoughts is and like this video. If you found it helpful, subscribe for more content. I'm bound to do this and stream this game. It's going to be my next main game. And hopefully you found it helpful. I am also doing a giveaway. If you guys didn't know it, I am doing a giveaway on my Twitch. So feel free to come by and watch it. You pretty much just have to watch the stream. You get points for free. And then you just enter the giveaway. And with that, later days.